It's the law of the land. The Lord wrote it in several different scriptures. For us not to be greedy. But the rap music got us twisted. And we lost respect for ourselves and our relationships and our families. And we need to realize God is nothing to play with. It's coming back. Repent and do the right thing. Adultery, like all sins, separates us from God. Only Jesus Christ offers us release. Second Corinthians, First Corinthians, chapter six, verses nine through eleven. Do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idols, nor adulterers, nor male prostitutes, nor homosexual offenders, nor thieves, nor greedy, nor drunken, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And that is what some of you were. But you were washed. You were sanctified. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. I was washed, covered by the blood. My past does not determine my future. There's some of us out there right now that's holding on to secrets that need to come on in out of the wilderness and be washed. Stop holding up heirs for the world when they don't matter. Jesus is who matters and he already know what you got going on. So come on in, repent, confess, and change. Adultery is caused when a person's inner compass is not focused on God. Matthews chapter 15 verse 19 For out of the heart come evil thoughts murder adultery sexual immortality death false testimony slander Adultery is stopped by changing our mental view and seeing it from God's view. Romans chapter 8 verse 5 through 6. Those who live according to the sinful nature have their minds set on what that nature desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the spirit desires. The mind of sinful man is death. But the mind controlled by the spirit is life and peace. Romans chapter 12 verses 1 through 2. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God, 
This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. God's wisdom, his word, can save from adultery. Proverbs chapter 2, verses 16 through 18. As it reads, It will save you also from adulteress, from the wayward wife with her seductive words, who has left the partner of her youth and ignored the covenant she made before God. For her house leads down to death, and her path to the spirits of the dead. It's a lonely road, people. Adultery always has great consequences leading to destruction. Supporting scripture for that statement Proverbs chapter 6, verse 27, verse 29, and verse 32. Can a man scoop fire into his lap without his clothing being burned? Can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? So is he who sleeps with another man's wife, no one who touches her will go unpunished? But a man who commits adultery lacks judgment. Whoever does so destroys himself. Proverbs chapter 5. Verses 20 through 23. Why be captivated, my son, by an adulteress who embraces the bosom of another man's wife? For a man's ways are in full view of the Lord, and he examines all his path. The evil deeds of a wicked man ensnare him. The cords of his sin hold him fast. He will die for lack of discipline, led astray by his own great folly. An individual has no right to separate what God has placed together. Mark chapter 10 verses 8 through 9. And the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two but one. Therefore what God has joined together let Man not separate. Steps for preventing adultery. First Corinthians chapter seven, verses three through five. The husband should fulfill his marital duty to his wife and likewise 
the wife to her husband. The wife's body does not belong to her alone, but also to her husband. In the same way, the husband's body does not belong to him alone, but also to his wife. Do not deprive each other except by mutual consent and for a time so that you may devote yourselves to prayer. Then come together again so that Satan will not tempt you because of lack because your lack of self control. First Thessalonians chapter four verses three through five. It is God's will that you should be sanctified, that you should avoid sexual immortality, that each of you should learn to control his own body in a way that is holy and honorable, not in passionate lust like the heathen. Who do not know God. Sex with your own spouse is to be desired and enjoyed. It is recreational. Supporting scripture for that statement is coming from Psalms. Chapter 5, verses 15 through 19. Drink water from your own siren. Running water from your own well. Should your springs overflow in the streets? Your streams of water in the public squares? Let them be your own, never to be shared with strangers. May your fountain fountain be blessed and may you rejoice in the wife of your youth, a loving doe a graceful deer. May her breast satisfy you always. May you ever be captivated by her love. That concludes our scripture reading of adultery. For further scripture reading, one of the books that you can read is the book of Solomon. You are now tuned in to the food that never spoils, your daily appetizer of scripture reading, and hopes that what? You will go and feast for yourself on the word of God. Now, if you have yet to step into the kingdom, of having Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then a beginning start of you becoming a child of God would be confession, acknowledgement, request for forgiveness, as well as Him being your Savior. You can recite this short prayer after me to start your walk into the kingdom of God. Dear Lord, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. 
I believe 